One of the formulas that I was taught as a young Christian about how to frame our prayers was the word acts, adoration, confession, thanksgiving and supplication. It's a really easy one to remember and is a really good framework for our daily prayers. Adoration. We can use verses of scripture, the Psalms are very good for that. Or we can just praise God as we wish, telling God how much we love him. You may think, doesn't that make God a bit big headed? Us telling God how much we love him, telling God how wonderful he is. We love you, we worship you, we praise you, we adore you, using the Gloria perhaps. Why does God want our praise? Well, I don't think it's so much that God wants our praise. Although, don't we, when we're in a relationship with another person, whether it's uh, a sexual relationship or between parent and child or a dear brother and sister or a, a dear family member or a dear friend, we do tell each other how much we mean to each other. We do express and sometimes people get embarrassed and don't want to hear. But if we're very close, we do get over that embarrassment and we let the other person express how much they mean to us. It is important that we express what God means to us for our sake, not for God's sake. It does something to us if we are able to express how much God means to us. And also it broadens our horizons. It puts our lives in perspective if we can see the greatness and the goodness and the glory of God. And sometimes as we do that in words, then sometimes we are led into an adoration of God that leads to silence. And we can sit quietly and calmly within the presence of God. And sometimes we wish to start with an adoration of God in silence. And sometimes that's good to do as a discipline, not because we've come out of words of praise and adoration into silence, but sometimes it can be good to start our prayers in an attitude of silence, of bringing ourselves into the presence of the Almighty God, who is the creator of all that is. We can't even begin to imagine that but we can bring ourselves with reverence, beginning to imagine the vastness of all that is and knowing that our God holds that and is so much more besides. And in silence, knowing that we are loved. And as we bring ourselves to start with uttering words of praise, whether from the scriptures or from our hearts, either saying specific thank yous and adorations for things that have happened, or sitting in silence. Then sometimes we are drawn into the silence of God. And the only way with prayer is to give it a go.